Hello guys, who here back with another build video. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the other ones, the Vanguardian that I did the one before here. And today we're taking a look at the Dino Tamer. So the Dino Tamer is not even looking at you because of the face. But first of all, the Dino Tamer is magic damage and its main weapon is a gun. It's the one of the two, uh, oh sorry, three classes that uses guns. Uh, I'm a mis mistake, <laughs> but yeah. But he uses a gun uh, as there. And um, the Dino Tamer is a little bit, uh, you know, does have the um, Dino Babies as I throw one down here. It makes a small Dino Babies and there's three different ones of them. Uh, but the whole thing about the Dino Tamer or these small Dino Babies is that they're pretty nice as you, uh, you know, start out and uh, basically uh, by leveling this guy and stuff like that, they're very, uh, they're quite tangy in the beginning, but they fall off in the end. So uh, you still would like to, you still use them in your nine and stuff like that because they're based off your max, max health and you're probably not going for max health. If you are, that's a little bit weird, but it's all centered around the Dino Tamer's uh, ultimate. So when you jump on the ultimate, you jump on a little dude here and you start shooting uh, really, really quickly. So attack speed is very, very awesome for this one. And again, you wanna get, try to get, of course, the one, uh, as we talked about in the other ones, you wanna try to get a, what, exactly 100% crit hit. So you can see I'm way over that. I have to adjust this. And you can also see my critical damage is way, way low, too low. And of course the magic damage is what it it basically uses. So uh, the Dino Babies is a thing that you wanna use in the beginning, but you wanna switch over to, as I said, the ultimate and just have the ultimate going around basically. And that helps of course with the uh, ultimate, uh, or sorry, the, the class gym. The class gym does not decrease the cooldown of it, but it extends the duration. So you, it's basically the same thing, just go in the other direction basically but it just makes it uh, a lot better. So it's absolutely required to have the, uh, you know, the class gym uh, to the Dino Tamer for sure. Uh, the other ones doesn't really matter which ones you use. You probably want to use a, a Battling Berserker as your cosmic, but uh, it doesn't really matter which ones else you take of these. Uh, some people do a speed build as well, as we uh, talked about in the Vanguardian as well. There, uh, you you want to go for a little bit of tanks, uh, sorry, a movement speed and stuff like that, because it, it, the ultimate does give you uh, movement speed as well. Uh, so maybe a pyro disc could be very nice to have here indeed. So uh, going over what uh, other things you should have, you should definitely have yourself a magic damage ring. I have health regen because this is not a class I use very often. Uh, here again, you might wanna go for some jumps. Uh, jumps is basically the best one you can get for most classes because you can get crit hit uh, every other place and there's not really anything else. If you could get like maybe attack speed here or something like that, that would be awesome. Some classes also look for energy regen and stuff like that, but that's a little bit of a min-max and we'll talk about that when we get to those classes. But as you can see, the uh, Dino Tamer does not use any uh, or require any, uh, what's it called, energy at all. So energy regen is is basically wasteful on right here. As an ally, you will, you will use, of course, the uh, Chronomana Cubesley, again, because of the 20 magic damage, or uh, more importantly, the 20% cooldown recovery, which means that this is gonna be up even uh, more. Of course, these other things are also gonna work for that, that's, that's a given, but like I said, uh, later on, you're not gonna use the Dino Babies. You, you'll probably throw them down if you, if you have them, but you don't really wanna use the net too much. Uh, if you do, uh, let's say, um, have some cooldown or you, you not have your ultimate up and you do have the snare, you can fiddle it in when you're doing like, uh, you know, um, it's shadow towers and such, because it does give you a, a nice, uh, damage over time debuff. Uh, but I, uh, I'm not sure you do have that, but definitely when you have your ultimate up, make sure you shoot always, because this is what your, most of your damage are going to B. So again, you want to look for attack speed, you want to look for critical damage, you also want to look for movement speed. So if you have movement speed like this one, it's fine. You don't have to go for the attack speed, uh, but you, you probably want as much attack speed as you can. It, like I said, the movement speed is nice, so you probably want to do that as well. For Flask, uh, Death Define, as we talked about in the other ones, and here again you want to use the Arcane Emblem because of the extra 
uh, extra magic damage, basically. You can also use uh, other, depending on what you do, you can, of course, you can use the ones that has even more charges or ones that uh, when you crit, for example, if you have 100% crit, there's one that also recovers your stacks every time you crit. Um, it's only 40%, so it's not, uh, oh, I'm not sure, even not sure if it's 40%, but uh, there's only a chance. I don't know what the, exactly the number of chance is, but it's, so first of all, you have to cri have a critical damage, right? And then secondly, you of course, you have to make it recover. But uh, the faster you shoot, of course, the more chance there is uh, for to get this. Uh, so as for emblems, uh, you probably want to use the evil eye or you want to use the trailblazing. And I'm talking about the trailblazing is, of course, for the movement speed. Like I said, some people are using uh, this as also a movement speed, like they do the near ninja and stuff like that. There's also a few other ones you can use. Of course, you don't want to use any that is going to replenish your energy or anything like that. You can use the unwielding because of the shield. Uh, but basically, you just don't want to use anything that restores energy at all. And you really don't want to look for any like berserking either because you cannot use anything else. Uh, but you, you have enough attack speed when you get around. So maybe the sure strike, of course, for the 20% if you don't have 100%. If you don't have a hundred percent critical hit, but if you're over eighty percent, as we talked about, they uh, it does become significantly worse. And you want to look for maybe the evil eye, or you want to look for uh, other the other. Uh, uh, there's one for mastery as well. Uh, you can get that one from there as well. Uh, there's also some other ones you can buy and stuff like that. You can also go for the chronomactic emblem to even uh, reduce your cooldowns even faster, but. Um, I think that the cooldown of it can be uh, enough without using this one. But if you haven't, then make sure you use this one. And again, it also depends on the situation, uh, depending on how you farm and stuff like that. Very much like playstyle, basically. So uh, going over the emblems, we did that. And then the next thing is, of course, you want to go for a subclass. And the subclass is uh, best for the Lunar Lancer because of the damage reduction. And of course, the also the... Uh, attack speed you get out of it. There's maybe a few of them you can use. You can, use, of course, also use the uh, what's it called? Um, the uh, the knight uh, subclass and stuff like that. Uh, also, re maybe reduced with uh, this one. Uh, the I'm not sure which one this is actually is, but uh, yeah, this one you can use as well. Oh, this is the uh, sorry, this is the Dracolite. Uh, Dracolite uh, cool. It has cooldown reduction and stuff like that. They have more jumps if you're needing that. There's even more jumps here. Um, but most of them is is pretty uh, meh compared to what it, like this one is. You can also get one if you're missing that last percent crit or something like that. Also, if you just want more critical damage, but 20% is like nothing compared to what you get out of this. Yes, you get 700 physical, uh, 750 physical damage, but that's not really what you're looking for. You're looking for the buff, and of course, the higher your power rank of your Lunar Lancer is, uh, the more chance there is. But it's like from uh, I think it's power rank uh, 25,000 uh, and down to when it starts, basically. When you get this to, you just have to have the Lunar Lancer level 10. Uh, so it doesn't really matter the power rank. It's, it, the, the percentage difference is from 20, it starts on 20% and then goes up to uh, 25%. So at 25,000, I think it's 25,000 or I think it's maybe it's 30,000. I cannot remember. But uh, at Let's say 25,000, the, 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 the proc chance is 25%. So yes, it's a 5% difference, but uh, as I said, uh, the Lunar Lancer can be basically power rank level zero. It just has to be level 10 so you can activate it. Uh, but there's a 5% difference from, from that much power rank. So don't go overboard trying to get that extra 5%. If you're playing the Lunar Lancer, of course, that's very nice as a main or something like that, or you just really like the Lunar Lancer, you can, of course, get this uh, power rank up to uh, the maximum of 25% and have those extra 5%, of course. Uh, in some ways, it does make a difference, but uh, when you're starting out as a new one, uh, I think we said this in the last video, but at least I'm saying it now, that... Uh, the Lunar Lancer buff uh, subclass is the best one out there. You want to get as many classes to level 10 so you have some to switch around with. But you just want to get the Lunar Lancer. If you if you don't really want to min-max, if you can say it like that in the subclass section, uh, the uh, just get the Lunar Lancer buff. It works on all classes. Some of them a little bit better because of the 750, but... Other than that, just use whatever subclass, uh, or sorry, just use the Lunar Lancer, that's what I mean. 
And that thing, I think, covers basically everything about the uh, Dino Tamer. It's not one of the most used classes, but it did find recently some 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 better. I don't know what to say. Some more gameplay, I guess, in uh, amongst people because of the movement speed. Suddenly, it became pretty good. Uh, and yeah, it's it's just a very very uh, awesome class in itself. Uh, and um, yeah, you want to again get as much attack speed and a magic damage, critical damage as you uh, can get. But I think that covers basically everything there is to know about the uh, Luna Lancer. Uh, it's a pretty fun class. It can do a lot of damage. It, I don't know if it's exactly on the same level as the Gunslinger, but depending on the playstyle, how you feel, I would say the Dino Tamer uh, kind of actually trumps the, uh, the, the Gunslinger because of its farming potential. It's a lot better to farm with because of the Dino Babies, even though they die really fast in U9 and U10, for example. Uh, it, uh, they do provide some kind of utility where the Gunslinger basically doesn't really have much utility other than it does a lot of damage and stuff like that. So uh, the Dino Babies do give a little bit of, uh, you know, diversity and the, uh, the snare is also pretty cool uh, to slow things down. But I think that covers everything there is to know about the Dino Tamer. If there are some questions you have about the Dino Tamer or other classes in specifically, just put them down there. I Like I said, I'm making videos for every single class. I've made the Di the Dracolite now and also the Vanguardian and this is the third one this is of course the 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 Dino Tamer and I'll get all all of them so if there's one class you're mid you not really know but I'm you know you're looking for it will be in the future so just hold on to see that maybe it's already out you can go check it out there should be a playlist you can go through and get the class that you did but if this guide helped you make sure you guys like and subscribe and I thank you so very much for watching this and i really appreciate it and uh, lastly i'll just see you in the next one bye